Hey everyone, my name is Shelby Hartman. I'm Double Blind's co-founder and editor-in-chief, and today we're talking sex on shrooms. So the first thing I'm going to say about this juicy topic is that while a lot of people have reported having transformative experiences having sex on shrooms, that you want to tread lightly here. We talk a lot on this YouTube channel and on Double Blind about best practices for journeying on shrooms and psychedelics more broadly. Intention is key. Making sure you feel safe and comfortable are key. And these things are even more important when you start mixing in physical touch. Clinical sexologist Sarah Melikon says, quote, it has been suggested that psilocybin increases emotional empathy, which may have a positive influence on sexual encounters with others. As one might expect with any drug, people's experiences with sex on mushrooms varies widely. Sex therapist Melissa Cook says, quote, some people may find that their senses are heightened, their emotional connections deepened, and their pleasure enhanced. But others might feel anxious, paranoid, or have difficulty concentrating during sexual encounters. Psychotherapist Lisa Lawless says, people may be more open to discussing sexual topics, and it may reduce sexual performance anxieties. The ability to let your guard down and talk about sex may also allow partners to better understand each other sexually. We'll say an important disclaimer here though, that it's really important to have conversations around consent before you begin tripping. And as with sex in general, to establish that people are free to change their mind at any time. According to Katan Parmer, a psychiatrist at Clinic Spots, people also sometimes report increases in libido and enhanced orgasms after taking mushrooms. The 2017 Global Drug Survey found that 22% of psychedelic users utilized such substances to increase sexual feelings. And Parmer says research has shown that when consumed in moderate doses, these substances can increase levels of sexual arousal and satisfaction during intercourse. Effects are dose dependent, obviously. However, with higher doses of mushrooms, someone might also experience sensory distortions and hallucinations that may actually interfere with sex. Sex therapist Alia Moore says taking a lower dose of 1.5 to 3.5 grams of dried mushrooms can enhance emotional and sensory experiences without causing overwhelming visuals or altered states of consciousness, and that some individuals may prefer to take a microdose, which is a sub-threshold dose that produces subtle effects without causing any significant changes in perception. I'm just gonna chime in here and say though, even though oftentimes a moderate dose of mushrooms is defined as around two to 3.5 grams, I really don't understand that or think it's a moderate dose. In the psychedelic community, we often say to start low and go slow. And this is especially important if you're thinking about combining sex and psychedelics. At the risk of stating the obvious, sex can make us feel vulnerable, psychedelics can also make us feel vulnerable. So while there could be potential for healing traumas and insecurities and bonding when combining physical intimacy and psychedelics, the chances of feeling uncomfortable or violated may also increase. So if you're thinking of combining sex and shrooms or sex and acid or sex and MDMA, et cetera, et cetera, we definitely recommend tripping with that person without sex first. And then once you introduce psychedelics, actually starting with a low dose. And in the case of mushrooms, that could be a true microdose of around 0.1 to 0.3 grams. If you're looking to shift your consciousness, you might want to do something more in the 0.3 to 0.5 grams range because 0.1 to 0.3 grams is so little that you might wonder whether you took anything at all. That's probably won't be the case for 0.3 grams, but 0 0.1, 0 0.2 for sure. You might want to go as high as one gram. At two grams, you, you're tripping unless you have a very high tolerance for shrooms. Let's talk about safety. Not the sexiest thing, but we'll get into some sexier things in a moment, so just bear with me. In addition to talking dosages, it's important to talk in advance about the experience and what you each want out of it and any fears that you have. So Cook says, be transparent about your expectations and your concerns. In the moment, share what you are experiencing with your partner so that they can understand how you're feeling and what you might need. And if you haven't already, make sure to be honest with your partner or partners about your mental health history and any previous experiences that you've had with psychedelics, what you're going through in your life at the moment, just anything that might emerge for you while you're on the psychedelic. 
Timing is key when it comes to tripping. So just because you feel deeply called to do shrooms or deeply called to do shrooms and have sex doesn't mean that right now is the best time to do that. You may wanna be in a place to have a fun and sexy time with your partner, but if you were recently let go from a job or a parent that's dealing with the stressors of young children or are under any other kind of stress or instability in your life, this might not be the moment to embark on a sexy psychedelic experience because you might like, you know, have the environment set, have the music set, whatever it might be, have the lingerie on, I'm not judging. And then you get into it and it's like, oh, actually, I'm really struggling right now in my life and there's all these other things that are emerging for me and I don't want to be touched. So if you're okay with that emerging for yourself or for the other person, then great. But these are just conversations that you want to have ahead of time. And people with a history of trauma, particularly sexual trauma, will also want to approach sex on shrooms very slowly and gradually with caution. Um, so Melikon says psilocybin and other psychedelics can bring up repressed emotions or past trauma, which can be uncomfortable or disturbing. So if you have sexual trauma, it might actually be really healing for you to be touched on shrooms in a conscious way with your partner who you trust, but also like do shrooms need to be involved for that to happen? Lastly, decide in advance what you're planning to do in terms of safer sex and stick to that plan. So if you and your partner know that you typically need lube or you like to use condoms, have those things ready in advance. Setting, i.e. the environment that you're in while tripping is key to how the experience unfolds in general, but especially if you're planning to have sex. So think about how you can establish a mood ahead of time with good lighting and a playlist that you both love, but also be mindful of what you will and won't be able to do when you're tripping. So for example, lighting candles all around the room where they might get knocked over, not the best idea. <laughs> You might also consider starting slow and tenderly rather than with practices that make either of you feel particularly vulnerable, like kink. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but these are all just good conversations to have ahead of time. As mentioned, the decision to have sex on mushrooms should be made before taking the mushrooms. That way, everyone involved is able to fully consent. It's good to avoid using other substances that could lead to unpredictable effects, such as alcohol or cannabis. As always when tripping, take note of when you take the shrooms, especially if you're thinking about smoking weed, taking MDMA, or taking more shrooms later on, which may not be the best idea if it's your first time combining shrooms and sex, or combining shrooms and sex with this particular person or people. The arc of the experience is four to six hours, so you can expect to feel the effects within the first 10 to 45 minutes or so, and you can expect the experience to peak around two to three hours. That's to say that you might start feeling in the mood when they first kick in and then all of a sudden not feel in the mood once the experience gets more intense or vice versa. It could even be nice to journey with the person or people without the expectation of physical intimacy and then start touching each other as you're coming down. Melikon adds that mushrooms can compromise people's ability to communicate, making it even more important to practice affirmative consent. I can tell you in my own experience that when mushrooms get really intense, sometimes I literally like don't have words, like I can't articulate. So if someone doesn't give a clear verbal yes to something, then just don't do it. You can also choose a safe word in advance that people can say if they become overwhelmed. So we'll get back to sex on shrooms in a minute, but before we do, I hope you don't mind me sharing with you a bit about Double Blind. I'm a journalist by trade, and before starting Double Blind, I was reporting on psychedelics for Vice, Rolling Stone, Quartz, and a number of other magazines. And I started Double Blind because I was really passionate about educating people on how to safely and respectfully embark on a journey with psychedelics for healing and growth, if that's something that they wanted. Especially when it comes to topics like sex and psychedelics, right? It's super taboo, but that doesn't mean people aren't interested in it. And we want to provide people with all the information that we can so that they can go into these experiences with intention and care. And we began as a print magazine that still comes out twice a year. It's our baby. It's 
so beautiful, I'm biased, but I think it's so beautiful. And um, we vowed to never have a paywall over what we do because we don't wanna lock people out of the information that they need to feel better. That includes videos like this, it includes all the articles on our website. And how do we pay the wonderful humans who make all this possible? It's through classes like a class where we teach people how to grow their own mushrooms. We've taught thousands of people around the world how to grow mushrooms at home. And we have a team of just amazing mycologists who support people every step of the way. We also have a monthly membership that includes access to a community of psychonauts like you. And it also includes conversations led by me with experts in psychedelics, a subscription to our beautiful print magazine, and so much more. So whether you've been following us for a while or you're just stumbling upon us now, consider supporting us at doubleblindmag.com slash membership or check out all of our offerings at doubleblindmag.com. So how do you have great sex on shrooms? Well, the same way people set intentions for a psychedelic trip, you and your partner can set intentions for a sexual experience utilizing mushrooms in order to make the most out of it. And those intentions can vary, right? It could be emotional intimacy, it could be pleasure, it could be personal growth, it could be opening new ways of communicating and touching the other person that you feel like you've kind of had some blocks around. Um, if you're bringing mushrooms into the bedroom for the first time, it's probably not the time to switch up your routine. So the presence of the mushrooms in and of itself will make for an adventure and adding anything unfamiliar could be frightening or disorienting. Like the mushrooms are enough. Leave the whips for another time. <laughs> How did you like it? That was torture. Not for me. <laughs> make sure you're in a familiar, cozy space with a partner you trust and feeling secure will minimize anxiety and enable you to focus on the intimate connection. It will also help you avoid issues associated with compromised judgment and motor control on mushrooms. In addition to setting the environment or feng shui, as I like to call it, it's good to devote this time to being fully present with the person. So remove any distractions such as electronic devices and definitely make sure anything that might bother you like a pet or children are far, far away. <laughs> It's helpful to move slowly as you get accustomed to the mushrooms. So allow yourself to relax and adjust to the effects of the mushrooms in order to enjoy the experience fully by focusing on sensory exploration. Focus on your body, focus on breathing. Maybe you wanna meditate with the person before you touch each other at all. We live in a very orgasm-centric culture, and especially with partners who've been together for a long time, you might be used to defaulting to touching each other in a particular way. But this is an opportunity to really tune into the sensations in each other's bodies. So perhaps just start by holding one another, start with a massage, start with taking a bath, like you don't have to get right to it ever, but especially when you're on mushrooms. <laughs> and check in with the person and yourself often. In the psychedelic community, we often talk about the concepts of surrender and curiosity when tripping. And if you're feeling something, get curious about it. Don't hesitate to slow down, breathe, close your eyes, or just take a minute for yourself. And it can be supportive to establish that you're willing to do this for the other person ahead of time too. For more information like this, subscribe to this YouTube channel or check us out online at doubleblindmag.com.